Hello and welcome to the Urban Campers Club. This is my debut video and I just wanted to start it off with uh, my first enclosed camper. I bought this in 2017, so it's about five years old, but hey, I pieced together some of the old footage and I just wanted to show you kind of what I did. And my whole idea was I wanted to buy a camper, renovate it, put everything I wanted in it, and I only wanted to spend about $2,000. So I know that sounds crazy, but that was my goal. And, uh, you know, the first thing we found is, you know, when you're buying something private party, a lot of times you talk to the people and if they're, they're not always honest. He told me the water worked. We found out that the water did not work. And the reason it didn't work is because it had a hole in the uh, hot water heater. So uh, you'll see me here messing with the hot water heater, um, pulling it out. And, uh, you know, I knew that I was going to have to do some repairs. I mean, it's an old camper. This camper is a 1982 uh, Shasta 19 foot travel trailer. Um, man, so it was just about 30 years old when I bought it. So I knew it would be a lot of uh, little repairs and stuff that needed to be done. Um, uh, here I am pulling out the hot water heater, about 18, the uh, hex head screws, uh, pretty easy to do. You uncouple the, uh, water lines inside and then right here, there's a gas line. You uncouple that and you're good to go, but check it out. So I got this thing out and, uh, man. It was, I uh, really wasn't worried about that as much as I was worried about the floor. The floor was in really bad shape, but uh, check it out. Man, so here you see, I got it out of the, uh, off the street there and I brought it into the uh, garage. And as you can see, see that big dookie ball right there sitting on the side of the tank? That's uh, JB Wells. So some, uh, Numbskull years ago probably put the JB uh, weld on there thinking that would hold and it may have held temporarily But it really didn't hold all it did was sit there and let water seep out of there uh, Little by little over the years and it just ruined the floor completely So here starts my journey and all of the stuff I did to kind of get this thing prepared And you know, I was a newbie. So I thought oh, yeah, I can just repair that little corner of the floor uh, And I'll be good. But uh, if you look here closely, you'll see that it didn't quite work that way As you can see here, guys, so it's, I, I got it all pulled out. And uh, when you look, I noticed when I when I tried to step on the floor over there, that whole floor against that wall was completely soft, just completely rotten. So my little plan to do the little corner and be done didn't quite work that way. So I wound up doing the whole floor. But check it out. Okay, YouTube, uh, I'm back. This is uh, Two Guns, the camper remodel. So I pretty much got half the floor up. And I'm just pulling up the insulation in the whole nine. So I got about half of the floor in that little area anyway, not half the floor over the whole camper. But uh, I got half of it up tonight. Man, this is a dirty job. I'm telling you, man, I wouldn't. But it's, you know. Even the beams that was in the floor, I had to throw one away. There's one right there, it was so soggy. And uh, waterlogged that it just came right up off the floor. So, um, yeah, so I gotta put, you know, beams and everything so that you have some supports. So this is really going from the ground up on the floor. All right, guys, here I am back again here with the uh, floor. I wound up taking the whole floor up. I just, you know, every time the whole floor was pretty much destroyed. So I uh, wound up taking the whole floor up and I am laying uh, two by twos, one two by four and eight two by twos. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insulate it, not with the, uh, um, I'm going to use that, that foam insulation because it just, you know, that stuff gets so stinky and wet and damp. So I'm using the foam insulation and uh, man, I think it's gonna go pretty good. All right guys, and here we go with the actual uh, particle board laid down. And I went with a uh, three quarter inch part particle board. So it was a little thicker than uh, what was originally on the floor. And as you see that little square, that's the insulation I was using. I was actually using the foam insulation. Uh, 
just kind of finishing up some finishing touches. And now you see my foot down there. I mean, you could jump up and down on this thing and everything is uh, pretty secure. Sorry, I didn't have that footage. I was missing some footage between. I think I shot it with my other phone uh, at that time. Again, this was five years ago. So, uh, but hey, check it out. So here we go with the uh, floor laid down. As you can see, I kind of, I went with the linoleum, man, just because it was nice and dark. And, you know, when you're camping and stuff like that, the floor can get it's just something easy to clean, something easy to wipe off. Uh, went with this really beautiful piece of linoleum. I got it from Menards. Really, really cheap. Again, I was staying in budget at this point. I still hadn't got my accessories like uh, my TV, my surround sound, all the cool stuff I was going to do, my cushions, uh, my bedding. But, uh, yeah, man, it's, it came out really, really well. I like it. And, uh uh, check it out. Guys, so here we go. Uh, taking a look at the inside. This is the bedding. We put some new um, drapes. Uh, there's some blacked out drapes here. You got my TV hung. I got my, uh, I put a, a cover for the uh, air condition. Put a little black uh, backsplash on the kitchen. Um, just really just kind of cleaned it up real, real nice, neat, real comfortable, real cozy. But uh, man, check this out. Here is the original color, man. You know I had to change all that. Check that out. So yeah, guys, one of the first thing I started off with uh, when I started doing the exterior was the uh, roof. The roof was in bad shape, so I scraped it, I treated it, I sealed it in all the corners, and then I did a rubber coating on top just to kind of give it a nice finish. Hey, great finish. Air condition worked perfect. Everything was sealed. Never had a leak in this thing the whole time we had it. Here's where we decided to, to do a little outside. We spiffed it up. We painted that thing white. Uh, we just used a, a single stage acrylic enamel. We did it out of cans. And then my daughter decided that, hey, you know what? Black and gray would be the white or the nice, clean colors to go with for the stripes. And, uh, you know, I kind of let her do her thing on the front. And we also painted the uh, uh, air conditioner cover. And here's my wife. Here she is hanging the, the new Shasta stickers up there. Uh, man, this thing really came out really clean and stuff like that. And I was able to keep it just in about 2200 bucks. So I was pretty close to my budget. But uh, man, this thing was a, was a great camper. It wound up just looking fantastic. Yeah, well, there you have it, guys. Hey, taking that piece of trash and making a treasure, man. Uh, a lot of fun, and I learned a lot working on that camper. And uh, we actually kept this thing for about three years, and we had a lot of fun, a lot of memories. And uh, we are presently working on a, another camper that I'll be posting some video on that. And, uh, man, it's just been a lot of fun. And, uh, hey, man, thanks for watching. And please like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thank you.